I first was exposed to plastic surgery when I was working overseas in, with a humanitarian organization and I became familiar with the incredible life-changing ability of plastic surgery to improve people's quality of life. It's that work that inspired me to follow the field of plastic surgery and become a craniofacial pediatric and adult plastic surgeon. So I would say my approach to patient care is very customized. I really want to get to know the patient, understand where they're coming from, and make sure that what I'm hearing is going to be addressed by the treatment plan that we devise together and I partner with the patient in doing so. I think my patients would describe me as being very empathetic and caring about what they see as being the problem or the reason why they are coming in for a consultation. I always want to take the time to make sure that they're being heard and that we understand not only what their immediate concerns are, but what you know they're trying to achieve. The advantage of going to an academic medical center is that you know that people are there for the reason that they want to really provide the best care and that they're continuing to to research and share that knowledge with the next generation of surgeons. For that reason, they need to stay on top of their field and they're always learning. I think creating an environment where everyone is learning, whether it's the students and the residents, as well as the nurses and the physicians, that that's the best way to really make sure that you're getting the best possible care. Every plastic surgery patient has something that impacts their quality of life and a lot of what we do is really allowing people to improve their quality of life and feel better about themselves, whether it's for reconstruction or for cosmesis, whether it's a child or an adult, we can allow them to express themselves and see if we can come up with a, come up with a solution that will help them to improve their quality of life.